And in this unit, we'll discover together le passé composé. So le passé composé is a past tense and it's uh, probably the one that you will used in most of the cases because that's the past tense that we tend to use to express what we've been doing uh, for the weekend or uh, well the well normally the, the the past that is not that far if you're talking about your childhood or something really far we will normally use uh, another tense that's called uh, l'imparfait that we'll see a bit later so now in this uh, lesson we'll focus on le passé composé so we'll have now few examples here just to show you first how it goes okay so in this first sentence so i took this manger to eat verb okay je mange au restaurant and so if you look carefully you can see that this sentence is at the present tense okay je mange au restaurant so i eat at the restaurant okay and then here i wanted to show you what this passé composé form looks like okay so you can see that you've got first here the verb avoir at the present form okay so it goes like j'ai and then the second part so because that's the main concept of this passé composé composé means means composed so you you will have two parts okay and this is the second part here and that's what we call participe passé so uh, past participle and it goes like manger with an accent here at the end okay so we'll see why in a few minutes okay so the rest doesn't change okay and then you've got this j'ai mangé au restaurant well it's the sentence same sentence but it's at the past tense so it could be like yesterday maybe last weekend okay another example here tu regardes la télévision okay remember regarder is to watch okay so you are watching the television tu regardes la télévision so that's here the present tense okay and so if we want to put the same verb at the past tense well basically we've got to respect the same rule that we had previously here you see we had avoir so at the first person for je and then here we've got avoir at the second person for tu you okay and it's at the present form here tu as and then same thing here you will have to put this participe passé form okay past participle with an accent here because it belongs to the first group tu as regardé la télévision okay so of course i know that many many of you will say mm -hmm, it looks so simple it's not possible to be so simple in french and that's 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 true we will have exceptions and here we've got a good example so il va au travail okay remember va it's the form at the present tense uh, for the verb aller aller is to go okay and so we will see that few verbs we will have to change a little bit the, 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 the way to construct the passé composé because here you can see that in the past tense sentence here we don't use avoir as we did previously like with manger j'ai tu as with regarder okay but we will use être okay il est and then you can see here aller so participe passé au travail at work il est allé au travail okay and this will be well the first difficulty of uh, the passé composé form so you should really uh, think about the fact that well most of the verbs will be constructed with avoir okay and the, the one that you will construct with the uh, être will be the exceptions so you will have to remember them by heart of course okay so we'll we'll make a list after but then so if we want to make it simple so just to resume the whole thing first okay so normally if you want to construct this passé composé form then the first part that you will have to put is avoir at the present tense and then the second part will be this participe passé form okay that we will see and then you will get this passé composé okay for the exceptions as i said we will have to use être at the present form then the participe passé form so you will get this passé composé okay
Now, let's see the verbs that will require être at the passé composé. The first one that we saw in the, the, the example that I gave you previously was aller. Aller is to go. Okay. Second one, arriver. Arriver means to arrive. Third one, descendre. Descendre means to go down. Then, devenir. Devenir means to become. Then, entrer. Entrer, to enter. Monter. Monter, to go up. Mourir. Mourir, to die. Naître. Naître, to born. Parti, par, sorry, sorry. Partir. Partir, to leave. Rester. Rester, to stay. Retourner, retourner, to return. Sortir, sortir, to go out. Tomber, tomber, to fall. Venir, venir, to come. Okay, so remember that all these verbs here that we saw will require the verb être at the passé composé form. Okay, so the others will require avoir. Okay, so you can see now that, I mean, most of the verbs will require avoir. Okay, and then these verbs will require être. Okay, so let's repeat them one more time. Aller, arriver, descendre, devenir, entrer, Monter, mourir, naître, partir, rester, retourner, sortir, tomber, venir. Ok? So, let's see the other group of verbs that will all the time require être. And these verbs are, well, what we call this réfléchi, réfléchi, sorry, verb réfléchi, so thinking about the reflexive in English, okay? So, uh, se regarder, for instance, okay? So, remember that we've got these verbs, like, so, regarder is to watch or to look, and then when you put this se regarder, well, basically, you will have the meaning, like, to look or to watch at oneself, Okay, and all these verbs will require être. Okay, s'appeler as well to call oneself, se présenter to present oneself. So, all these verbs, but then more generally, all the verbs constructed with this se form, okay, so to have this reflexive form, will require être. Okay. So now, let's see again, one more time, if that's okay with you, the conjugation at the present form of avoir and être, because that's the verbs you will have to use, okay? So avoir, remember, it goes like j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, so remember, masculine, feminine, nous avons, so you can put this little, Liaison, link between the two. Nous avons. Vous avez. Same thing here. Little link between the two. And then, ils ont. So the link as well, the liaison. Elles ont. Alright, so, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Okay, so it's avoir at the present form. So the form you will have to use for the first part of the passé composé, and then être, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, okay, little liaison here, little link, vous êtes, 
Ils sont, elles sont. Ok, so one more time. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. All right? And so, for the second part, so what we call this participe passé, so the past participle, you get to remember that the first group of verbs, so if you remember, they end with this er, okay, so we had parler, regarder, etc. So, the infinitive form, like er, will give you a accent aigu at the participe passé. So, for, exam for example, here we've got parler, parler is to talk or to speak, so it ends like here with a r, you can see that. First group of verbs, so it will go like parler, like that. The funny thing is that phonetically they are the same. So infinitive parler, so if you remember we saw that previously, so I mean this combination of two letters at the end of the words normally gives the sound e, okay, parler, and then Past participle, participe passé, parler. Same thing here, regarder, regarder. Okay? And then even the, the high irregular verb aller, because aller doesn't belong to the first group, uh, even if it ends with a air, we saw that previously. But then even this verb will give, uh, well, <laughs> normal or easy uh, participe passé. Okay? It goes like aller, like that. Okay? So, Parler, regarder, regarder is to watch, and then aller, aller is to go. Okay? The verbs from the second group, so second group, not all the ER verbs, unfortunately, <laughs> but most of them. Well, it would be quite simple because this ER will become E, alright? So you will have verb like choisir, choisir is to choose, will become choisi for the participe passé form. Okay? Finir, to finish, to end, fini, like that. Unir, to unite, uni. All right? So it's not that difficult. Okay? So choisi, fini, uni. After that, the difficulties uh, are for the third group of verbs, so the irregular ones. So it's usually it's quite difficult to make some groups and subgroups, but then we can we can we can have few examples here like connaître, connaître is to know, okay, and it will give you connu. Okay. Voir like O E R will become vu. Alright. Then verbs like partir, okay, even if it doesn't belong to the Second group, it will give you parti, okay? Rire, I-R-E, it will give you ri, okay? Partir, to leave, and then rire, to laugh, okay? Écrire, to write, so I-R-E, will give it, écrit, okay? Remember that even if you've got this final T, you don't pronounce it, so it goes like écrit, okay? Dire, I-R-E, as well, will give you di, same thing here but then you pronounce it I, okay? Écrire, to write, dire, to say. And then mettre, to put, so E, T, T, R, E, will give you this I, S, mi. Same thing here, final S is not pronounced. Mi, okay? And then prendre, so E, N, D, R, E, will give I, S, pri, okay? Same thing here, you don't pronounce the final S, okay? So let's... See that again? So when you get this être, it will go like, like U, connaître, connu. Then when you will have this O, I, R, it will give you U. Voir, vu. Okay? I, R, I. Partir, parti. I, R, E will give you I. Rire, ri. Okay? I, R, E here, I, T. But then phonetically it's I as well because you don't pronounce the final T. Okay? Écrire, écrit. I, R, E, I, T, same group. Dire, di. Okay, then E, T, T, R, E will give you this I, S, but then you don't pronounce the S, so you get I. Mettre, mi. And then E, N, D, R, E, I, S, but then same thing here. 
the sound E. Prendre, pris. Okay? So this is normally the difficulty of the passé composé to remember uh, the, the participe passé form. Okay? In most of the cases, I, I tend to, to tell my student that, well, they should learn them by heart, especially the irregular ones, because after that, I mean, the regular ones are quite easy to, to handle, but anyway, it's your shot. <laughs> so let's see a few examples now. So if we take the verb uh, parler, so parler, to speak or to talk, so it goes like j'ai parlé, okay? Tu as parlé, il a parlé, elle a parlé. Nous avons parlé, vous avez parlé, ils ont parlé, elles ont parlé. So if you look at it, it's not that difficult, you know. As I said, the only thing first that you should really remember, it's the verb avoir, but then I assume that at this uh, level now it should be okay for you. And then you get to, after that, construct it and put this participe passé form and for the regular verbs like parler, it's quite easy, and phonetically, it's the same. So, j'ai parlé. Okay? Let's see now a few things that you get to remember. So, if you construct the passé composé form with the verb être. Okay? So, we saw the exceptions. I mean, the verbs that are constructed with être. Okay? You will have to remember one important thing. If you've got here... The example of il est allé. Okay? So you can see that allé goes like that without anything after. But if you look at the feminine form, elle est allée. So you can see that the difference between the two is that I've been adding this little e uh at the end. So this is the thing that you will have to remember if you construct this passé composé form with être you will have to put at the end of this participe passé form something according to the gender. So in that case, it's the feminine form. You will have to put a at the end, okay? Or, let's continue. If you've got the plural form like here, il, okay, masculine plural, and that's important, you will have to add this S at the end. And logically, for once in French, if you've got the feminine plural form, so elles here, elles sont allées, you will have to add first this E, so for the feminine, and then S for the plural. Okay, so that's the one, I mean, important thing that you will have to remember if you want to construct this passé composé form, okay? Keep in mind one thing. If you want to use French orally, so if you want only to talk, the good thing here, listen to me, il est allé, elle est allée, ils sont allés, elles sont allées. So the good news for you is that even if you write them differently, you will pronounce it the same way. So phonetically, it doesn't change at all, okay? Here you've got aller, aller, even if you've got the final E, you don't pronounce it. Aller, even if you've got the S, aller, even if you've got this E, S, okay? So doesn't change. But if you want to write correctly, you will have to remember that you put this final E, uh, when you've got a feminine form, so feminine singular form, you will have to put, to put this S if you've got the plural form, so masculine plural, and you will have to add this uh, S if you've got the feminine plural form. Okay? Continuons. So, if we have the, the full thing for aller, it goes like Je suis allé, tu es allé, il est allé, elle est allée. Nous sommes allés, vous êtes allés, ils sont allés, elles sont allés. Ok? Let's see as well an example for all these reflexive verbs. 
Je me suis présenté. Tu t'es présenté. Il s'est présenté. Elle s'est présentée. Nous nous sommes présentés. Vous vous êtes présentés. Ils se sont présentés. Elles se sont présentées. Ok? So, the thing that we've got to keep in mind is, in most of the cases, you will have to use this avoir at the present form, then this participe passé form, and you will get this passé composé. Ok? In some cases, for the verbs, so the list of verbs we saw, and it's not a long list, so try to remember it, and all the reflexive verbs, you will have to use this être at the present form, then the participe passé. Then you will get this passé composé form.